Hello, everybody. Happy Blessed Sunday. This is a pick a card reading for today, Sunday, April 23rd. You pick a card, it's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. And if you are born today, April 23rd, I'll do a reading for you next. If you pick card number one, you have the Seven of Cups. All right, so you have a lot of um, options around you. I do feel for some of you, this is a split energy, so whoever picked this, um, someone out there, you could be um, overthinking things about the future. It's like your future thoughts um, may be stressing you out. Maybe you're pessimistic. Maybe you're like, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Okay, so um, there's a sense of uh, confusion or, you know, uh, live in the present moment is what I want to say. Uh, for some of you, it's like you do have a lot of options before you. Okay, so pick and choose wisely. So definitely don't let something stress you out. So I do feel that energy too. There is a lot more choices and options out there is what I'm picking up, okay? If you pick card number two, this is a day of leaving, walking away from something. That's what the card usually represents. But I do feel you're taking your power back. For some of you, this could be someone that you've been dealing with that you feel has kind of um, overwhelmed you or has been kind of... Um, I don't want to say a bully, but has been a burden. A person is what I'm picking up is um, for some of you. Could be leaving your life finally. <clears throat> okay, so I do feel that. Now, I do feel that you are taking your power back. You're now emotionally more balanced. Um, you're very diplomatic and in control today. Okay, you people look up to you as a leader is what I'm picking up. And you're a very supportive leader today too. So you're leading in a very supportive way. Um, very empathetic as well, but you're definitely leaving something that no longer serves a purpose, um, for you anymore in your life. Okay. So definitely seeing that and you are giving, you are, it's important to take your own advice. It's like your advice and your wisdom is very important today. It's, um, it's, it's on point. <laughs> okay. Card number two is the wheel of fortune. Important day for you. This is a major arcana. Um, there is a shift of energy, maybe expect the unexpected today too. All right. You may feel like you are trapped or you're stuck or you're thinking something over is what I'm feeling, but there's going to be like, um, an awakening, a wake up call, a aha moment, an epiphany. Okay. So patience, remember things will turn around for you. Um, something is shifting. There can be maybe a change of plans, but it is for the better is what I feel. Okay. All right, so what I pick up for everyone today is we have some decisions to make, okay, and where we're going to invest um, maybe a money or a purchase is what I'm picking up too. So we have the options. I do see there can be happiness here, like a family gathering or um, some kind of get together or um, uh, ha everyone's like um, happy about and excited about something uh, like your inner circle of people that are close to you. So I do feel that energy. Um, I do feel here, too, that uh, we just need to persevere a little bit longer, and we're a little bit cautious, but it's good to be cautious is what I'm feeling. It's going to help as well. A um, lot more inspiration today. There's new ideas. We may discover something. Uh, we have a limitless p a potential here. More free-spirited, to Let's explore things a little, too, before we make any quick decision. There's, it could be a sense of excitement. For some of us, we're de definitely, there's freedom here. We're breaking free somehow as well. Okay, so, um, yeah, that is uh, the reading for today, um, April 23rd, Sunday. Have a wonderful Sunday. Happy birthday if you're born today, April 23rd. This is your soul or your theme, and that is your wish card. Your soul or your theme is a major arcana of the Hierophant, which tells me this could be a very important year for you. It's a major arcana. For a lot of you, spirituality, manifestation, marriage is showing up. And also for some of you, you may be going back to school, okay? Maybe getting a higher in ed education. You'll be learning something new. It could be spiritual retreats, a spiritual um, or just, uh, you know, school, college. I do feel that energy. This is definitely a year of opportunities coming your way. This could be the start of a new career and job as well. Now, the thing is you need to gain more inner strength, okay? There's, you're dealing with self-doubt here and weakness. Your insecurities could come into play. 
your energy could be low at times. So find ways to stay, uh, eat healthy, to stay, to keep your energy levels up. Um, there's a lot of action too, but there can be some struggles and pride could get in the way. So I do feel that energy talk and communication is going to be important in therapy for some. I do see love coming in and someone very supportive can be a man um, in your life or someone there is showing up. Um, you may be changing the way you look, the way you feel. There is some more confidence coming through too. Um, you have courage, uh, more confidence, and there's a sense of being independent, relying on yourself. You're very business focused. Your zest for life is going to be also um, changing and your determination and strength is huge. There is some joy this year. You could be dealing with a Pisces and an Aries coming in significantly too, can be a female. All right. Your wish for your solar year is the 10 of Pentacles. All right. So what I'm seeing here is uh, you may have to wait a little longer, okay? Um, maybe you're a little impatient is what I'm feeling, but be hopeful because I do see hope is here. Some of you are have a lack of faith. Um, you're discouraged somehow. You're insecure. You have to have some more self-trust, okay? So have faith that this wish will come to fruition because there is a yes, but it co come with a little bit of a delay or some kind of elimination, all right, important numbers for your solar year, uh, 3, 8, 17, 5, and 10. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a fabulous Sunday, and enjoy it. Bye for now.